Hello, Catherine Lovewell here from the Teacher Sanctuary on our final day of Action April. I know, I'm actually quite sad about it. It's been an amazing month. I hope you found every Action April really interesting, fun, uh, curious, um, so that you hopefully have planted some seeds. So today's Action April is all about reflection. And um, I was in the pool a bit later than usual, and it was mums and dads and babies time. And it got me thinking, you know, when we plant an Action April seed, we may not get the uh, reward, the result, the, um, the, the full completion of that action, that first step of taking action. Just like those little babies, the parents have decided we must um, help our baby learn to swim, so getting them used to the water. It's the first action step. So please remember, anything that you have taken action on today, or yesterday, or throughout the month, it may not come to full fruition yet. It may do, but it may not. So give yourself that time. Remember that seeds and nature, they know how to grow and flourish. It'll take some time. But know that you've planted some seeds today, so high five. Remember we've done some amazing things. I've, I've printed out the whole list. We've got out into nature, we've had a big spring clean, we've started to seek out uh, places and things that make our hearts sing. Um, we've looked in um, in a little bit more depth about what might improve your well-being if you created a structure, a routine. And uh, of course, we've talked about connection uh, with uh, friends and how that improves our well-being and so on and so on and so on. This, I'll just go through them all. It's been amazing. Of course, we had the wonderful pay it forward at the end of the month, which was so rewarding for me and really joyful. So uh, sharing the love, uh, ripples of kindness out there, um, sowing more seeds, hopefully they'll continue to grow. Now the second um, reminder I'd like to give you uh, with regards to all of these Action Aprils is of course that this isn't about taking action from a place of fear or anxiety or stress um, or you know frenetic action. This is actually an invitation to take action from a place of stillness. So just have a little contemplation about that. Be mindful with your actions, with your choices, with what you would love to create if you'd like to take on some more actions or you've planted seeds for actions in the future. So remember, you may not get the flower blooming straight away and also if you take action from a place of stillness there'll be a really powerful experience um, planted and that will um, blossom over time. Right, well, that's it. Can't believe it. Now tomorrow, it's May. I'm really excited about May <laughs> because we are going to have a mad May. Yes, indeedy. M a D May. Make a difference May. It's going to be phenomenal. The Pay It Forward ripples of kindness have really inspired me so M A D May is what we're going to do. I've no idea what's going to happen. We're going to take one day at a time, be mindful with our choices and have tons of fun. So if you'd care to join me, please join up for Mad May. Um, take a look at any of the Action Aprils that you may not have seen and, uh, and see how you can continue to take great care of yourself. Take the oxygen first by these mini actions um, and really ensure that your well-being is prioritised in your life and of course the well-being of your family and your friends and colleagues. So that's it from me, Catherine Lovewell from the Teacher Sanctuary, signing off for Action April 2016. I hope you've had a brilliant time. And of course, if you've just found this and it's three years later, it's still really brilliant. And I'm sure that you will find it valuable. So TTFN, I'll see you for Mad May.